Welcome to another episode of Remember the Great Sports. Today I'm going to share with you some unique items that I've had in my collection for a long time. And this set was distributed regionally in the St. Louis area because the chip company was actually located in southern Illinois, not too far from the St. Louis area. And you used to buy bags of chips or um, cans of chips. I don't remember. I seem to remember the bags. I don't remember cans, really. But in 1985, the Cass Potato Chip Company released Superstars of Baseball cards. And I actually have three of the Cal Ripkins here, believe it or not. And I have a couple in top loaders. And I remember putting these in top loaders and they were difficult to get in there. So I'm not pulling these out anytime soon. And there's a Tony Gwynn. And there is a Steve Carlton, lefty himself. And for whatever reason, I didn't put these in top loaders. And I might do that after this video. But there's a Tom Seaver. Ryan Sandberg. Ozzie Smith. Another Ryan Sandberg, Jack Clark, Bob Horner, Kent Herbick, Willie McGee, Keith Hernandez, Dan Quisenberry, Rick Sutcliffe, Bruce Souter, Alan Trammell, Fernando Valenzuela, Willie Wilson, another Bob Horner, another Wilson, another Herbeck, another Horner, another Trammell. So I have some duplicates there. Now, they just didn't release the Superstars of Baseball set. And I want to say that maybe that another company actually released these as well. I'm not positive on that. I mentioned that in the Tom Seaver video. That's where you saw these first uh, when I posted my Remembering Tom Seaver video. And I'll link that up here in the corner at the end if you want to check that out. But in addition to the Superstar set, they actually released a Cardinal set. And I might almost have the entire set here, but I seem to remember that there's like one missing. And there's only 20 in the set. So for whatever reason, there's a lot of duplicates here. You know, again, you, you bought a ba bag of chips and you got one or whatever. So this is a lot of chip eating. For some reason, it's sticking in my mind that I'm missing a card. Because I tried putting this together. But I'll go through the Cardinals really quick here. You got Pendleton. And this is the 85 Cardinals that went to the World Series. Tommy Herr. Daryl Porter. Another Daryl Porter with some damage on it. John Tudor. Jeff Lottie. Multiple times. I guess you got a Jeff Lottie in every pack. <laughs> Look at that. Andy Van Slyke. Really zoomed in. And I remember, these aren't the ones that I had as a kid. I remember having that because I always thought that was such an odd card. And the one that I had as a kid is probably really beat to hell and I have no idea where it is. It's somewhere in my collection, but I remember having that. I'm like, that is the oddest card I've ever seen of somebody. Willie McGee. And as you can see, there's a lot of duplicates here. And probably the only Hall of Famer in the set, Ozzie Smith. There's Coleman, who was a big deal at that time. Stealing the bases like he did. And you can see all the Colemans that I have here. Lots and lots of Colemans. Ken Daly. Tito Landrum. Steve Braun. He wasn't a Cardinal very long, but as you can see, the, he was part of the 85 team, 85 league champs. Uh, Danny Cox, I actually have that one signed, believe it or not, I think. I remember seeing Danny a while back, and I handed that to him, and he's like, what is this? And that, and Bob Forsh, I remember having that one as a kid. There's a couple more Ozzy Smiths. I remember having this Brian Harper as a kid, too. Couple Brian Harpers, Jack Clark, the big hitter, Todd Worrell, the closer, of course. A 
Joaquin Andujar, Tom Nieto, backup catcher, I believe, and finally Kurt, Kurt, yeah, Kurt Kepshire. So, as you can see, I didn't keep count there. Maybe you did if you were watching, but I don't know if there was 20 different. But like I said, last time I seem to remember one of these missing, and it was a complete set. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is a really, really unique set to have. You just don't see these every day. Obviously, if you lived in the St. Louis area, you remember Cass Potato Chips, specifically Ozark Barbecue, if you remember that. I want to say they had uh, sour cream or something like that as well, especially around 85. Odds are you probably had a bag of these chips. And they used to come, I remember, they used to come two sealed bags in a larger bag, which was kind of unique. And again, I don't remember how these cards came. Maybe they were in cans, maybe they weren't, I don't remember. But I'm very happy to have these. I picked these up this lot at like a flea market years ago. Didn't pay hardly anything for them. And I couldn't tell you where the ones that I had as a kid went. They are well loved, to say it nicely, so it really doesn't matter. As these are, you know, in better shape. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Look forward to your comments below. If you're from the St. Louis area, tell me if you remember cast potato chips. Thanks. Mm -hmm.